Hello, Doan here, and welcome to another five underrated anime video. Ready for more anime to add to your list? Unless, of course, you've already seen them. Let us begin. This first one is Darwin's Game. I actually did an anime recommendation video on this anime a bit ago. Go check it out if you want. I honestly don't know why people turned away from this anime. It was pretty good. From the suspense it gave, to the music, to the mystery of who is in control of this said app in the story. The fights are incredible. It's just a hell of a ride with such big character, a big character development for our main protagonist. Our next one is Death Parade. I feel this anime was missed by many people. It is very aesthetically pleasing. I just love colorful anime. Concept it gives for Purgatory is pretty fantastic. You meet all these different characters. Some you might think are good, but then their personal story is revealed, which shows you who they really are. The next one is Devil's Line. I believe this anime got skipped over by many people simply because they didn't even know about it. I like to call this anime the better version of Twilight, and I have done a video on the manga, which I ended up reading after when I after I watched the anime. It is currently one of my favorite manga. It is basically about beings similar to vampires that are simply called devils. They are similar to vampires because they do drink blood, but only if they get into a bloodlust like mindset. Be it like all these different emotions like anger, lust, and even if they just see blood could send them into a frenzy. The big theme for this anime, besides romance obviously, is discrimination against these different people. Also, warning, there are very mature themes in it besides just discrimination. The next one is Gamers. There wasn't a lot of talk about this anime when it came out. Hell, I only watched it later on, but glad I did. It is a hilarious rom-com anime involving gamer girls. I honestly don't know what else to say about it, about it other than that it has incredible humor. Who knows? Maybe it's not as underrated as I'm making out as I am personally making it out to be. It also may hit too close to home for some people. Overall, it is just a fun anime to watch. This final one for the video is Happy Sugar Life. I've done plenty of videos on this anime. I think there's at least two. And it's the anime that that has, in my opinion, the definition of what a yandere truly is. I love how it starts as like a bright with a bright, cheery, and colorful, but when our protagonist goes into her yandere mode, the colors get darker around her. It's like the whole world changes at that moment. And then she changes back to normal, or normal I should say, and the colors become bright and cheery again. Sadly, the only way to legally watch it is on Amazon Prime, unless of course they end up getting rid of it. But of course I don't give two shits how you watch anime. Not a lot of people, not, not a lot of people know of this anime and I would really like to change that. And so, there are five random underrated anime. Or at least, I think so. Now, go out there, watch some great anime. Also, do you think any, do you think any of these five are underrated? Or am I being too lenient with how, I'm, with, how I view, with how I view anime? Check out some of my other videos. Hit subscribe and the bell to be notified of future videos. And I hope you'll return for more. Bye-bye.